Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. One of the most anticipated ski films of the entire year right here, Henry Carlo and Noah Baladejo came out with Bruschino. Uh, recently premiered across the United States alongside Level 1 Ski Film Tour, but just today it was uploaded on Benny the Butcher's YouTube channel. This is the first time a proper ski film has been uploaded on a multi-platinum rapper's YouTube channel. Such a righteous collab. So sick to see Henrik and Noah coming out with something like this. Oh, switch lip nose down 270 up onto the hubba. This is Henrik's tribute to some of the, the icons that have pushed his career and his skiing to the next level. West Side Gun, Benny the Butcher, and Conway the Machine. Uh, a beautiful collab of two forms of artistry, man. Noah coming out with a nasty... Little 180 swap down to the wall right there on that dam section. Oh, yeah. This is going to be beautiful. Make sure you watch the full piece without my hoots and hollers in the background because you'll actually be able to properly appreciate the skiing and the soundtrack. Let's get after it. <laughs> Henrik, man, coming out, losing his pants to gravity there. Such a ghetto switch 50. Look how he plants all his weight on his left foot. That way he can avoid catching an edge with his right foot and scissor it to get that switch 360 outside of that tetanus shack. Nostrils down on the switch three. So steezy. Rap good. My click really shooting. My niggas really robbing shit. My jits really gooning. You know, we're coming in for the two piece here. Little Wally on the first set comes out. Yeah, shoving the old factories down into the snow. Crushing Nolly 360 ski slide. Thought he was going to hold that at two steps. So difficult to pull that around to three and land on one ski. Red ledge. Notorious spot. Back surface. Keeping his knees so locked and loaded. Pulls the front surface. Henrik. They make it look so easy. Again, both these beauties are no foreigners to the streets, man. We've seen both of them in X Games Real Street. Noah Baldejo put together one of the nicest edits I've ever seen in X Games Real Street 2020. Uh, you've seen Harlow come out with a lot of private projects out in the streets as well, being a part of a lot of Armada team projects. Coming in blasting his meniscus there. Oh, yeah. Pulls around the tail press, gets that hand spank on top of the rainbow, and gets that back 270 whipped around. Holding on for dear life here. Big winch coming up. Oh. Nose is down 450 up. Makes contact. Gets that 270 around as well. It's almost like 540 to switch one out. Nose is down the entire way. Comes up back for round two. Think he's going to pull that to switch and hang on. Yeah, so sick. Oh, repping the new Harlow collection as well. This man's done it all. Wow. Switch lip to switch on that big sketchy C rail. Oh. The thing about street skiing is there's so many variables, so many more risks that you're not exposed to in a proper groomed up terrain park at your local resort. Coming up front swap on the triple down, you're crazy. No, we're not gonna really get you click, click. Coming up switch to 70. Using the tail press, swerving down, hitting that donkey dick like it's nobody's business. From the cartel, stashed in my mother freezer, right, I'm a sad, but So crazy to see what Henrik has accomplished in his career. He's, he's become one of the most decorated competitive athletes in the business, put together some of the biggest film projects known in the industry, and now is parenting his own apparel company, alongside being one of the biggest influences for some of his sponsors like Monster and Armada. Holy cow, TikToks are getting clipped up there by the up and coming generation. Look at those homies. Plug. Full steep quad down, gaps over the last section, hits the front 270. Once again, losing his pants to Sir Isaac Newton. Yo, going down the lose course, 50 50 up, gaps down, so sketchy. Wow. Almost met up with Tom Cruise on that one. Nolly lip. Such a steep DFD. Huge lip once again. Gaps over to the last down. Unbelievable. Again, a lot of people see DFDs across ski edits. One of the most common jib features in skiing. But what's crazy about the ones you see in street edits is just how steep they are. That's almost as steep straight down as a vert ramp. Gapping onto one, just sliding it is terrifying, especially when you add a staircase in the mix, especially when you're trying to gap over that staircase and miss your nostril from going in between both those rails and ending your kidneys' lives for good. Oh, dexterity, again, is at an all-time high here with both these athletes. Dude, trying to flash a V10 with some ski boots on, that was crazy. I had my shot, and I left. 
They don't call me the butcher for nothing. Oh, spanking that piece of infrastructure during sunset. Look at that. Swerves over 90 as well to pull it to switch. That was decent. They don't call me the butcher for nothing. The production quality in this is immaculate. You ever had a piece of making this come alive? Thank you. And we're going for a big old kamikaze there. I think we saw that in B-Dog's newest film as well, this spot. Then Kim Boberg went for that massive gorilla stance, uh, 180 across it. Kind of just a flex on how strong their meniscus is. Oh. Beautiful. Getting the front 270 out of that last flat. That is one of the nicest buckets I've seen in history. I got so much air in my avioli on this one. That's the thing about doing some of these like quote unquote reaction vids. You just suck in so much air from the hoots and hollers that after I film one, I just got to go and let that all out. Oh, I wish I could let that out. Grabbing safety the whole way of that red DFD. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me it's over. Oh, thank goodness. Look at the lighting hitting this man's epidermis. Big old pink gorge on him. Running up something big. Oh! <laughs> Man, I think on Armada's profile page of Henrik, they say one of his hobbies is hockey. Straight up, man. Put him one-on-one -on -one with Bedard. I'd break his ankles for sure, man. That was incredible balance on the edge of that. To a black Tesla, Captain Money Blue. Base is getting put to work here. Oh, wow. Oh! I've seen so many hits, whether that's on my screen or in person. And that is by far the closest I have ever seen anybody getting to chop in their jugular straight in half. Oh my lord, man. That could have been ruthless. Comes out for round two. Gaps down the first bar. Rides down the staircase into glory. Look at his knees, man. That is one hefty, strong human being. Showing us how to properly detune the ski. No edge left on that one. <laughs> Homemade slush cup as well. Big thing you gotta appreciate about urban edits is not just the skiing and the prep that goes into landing the stump, but the prep that goes into making the spot skiable. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Back surface to front surface, pulls it out forward, stopping his momentum. Oh yeah. Coming up full 50-50, locking those knees in. Trying to skim across all the koi fish in that pond below. <laughs> Doesn't have enough speed, lands on him instead. Securing some breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next three days here. That was crazy. I still call that a make, man. He landed and skied out even though half his body was submerged underwater. Oh, don't tell me we're done. Don't tell me we're done here. Oh, gosh darn it. That nine minutes went faster than Martha Stewart's prison sentence. That's a shame. By far one of the best edits I've ever seen in my entire life. Please watch this without my hoots and hollers in the background. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. That way you can properly appreciate the soundtrack from these legendary individuals, Conway, Benny, and Westside. One of the coolest collabs of the entire century. So wild to see Henrik landing this on Benny the Butcher's YouTube channel. Thank you for putting this together. Whoever had a piece in making this happen, thank you for making this come alive.